Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades. I am really sorry about the <laughs> problem with the last episode. I thought I had put the recording on pause while I went to fetch Lost and Blue home from uh, school activity. And evidently I hadn't, so I had to go into uh, BB Flashbacks editor, which is only available with a pro edition, unfortunately, and cut out the long paused bit of action in the middle. But anyway, we are in the Frost Giant Village, and we're heading down this passageway, and when we get to the corner, we're going to turn and head towards the Frost Giant King's throne room. So evidently he is the one individual who might be persuaded that no, we are not Black Circle after all. So let us get moving. Okay. Frost Giant Patrol here. And this is a fixed patrol, so... I don't really want to attack. So I'll talk to them, but even though it's not going to make any difference because they're going to attack. But at least we are not the aggressors. Then. Kill them before they get us all! They attack. Okay, so we have a bunch of Mastodons, or woolly mammoths, whatever, whatever, okay, frost giants are all down there, yeah, okay, mastodons, whatever, yeah, and Teresa used up her third necklace of missiles in a row, and she doesn't really have I don't know, at least not low-level spells that you can use. So... Oh, there's Frost Giants at both ends! Oh, joy! <coughs> now, it just might be possible for, say, Elodan and Hosita To work their way around to one end. And cast something like a lightning bolt. Of course, this puts him in a rather vulnerable position because he doesn't have any of the fighter types supporting him. Okay, let's see if she can do something similar. Okay, it looks like they are at full spells. You know, Vala, we could use your help any time now. Ouch. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to use something off one of his scrolls or maybe one of those wands. Ugh. I don't really have a clear feel of fire for a delayed blast fireball. Unfortunately. Hmm. Death spell, maybe? Let's see what that does.
It's not a spell I normally use. Let's try that. Does nothing. That's probably why I don't use it very often. Ouch. Okay, let's try another lightning bolt. Of course! Fala would just have to throw herself in the line of fire! <sighs> Vala, you silly lady. Well, maybe he can get a lightning bolt off now. Okay. And maybe she can try a fireball. And he... can pepper people with arrows. That looks good. And it keeps right on going through the right <laughs> right on going through those frost giants. Are there any of them left? That no, I think that might be it. Okay, ton of experience, and I'm sure the treasure is totally platinum, which we totally cannot use because it's impossible to carry that much. So, just exit. A wounded guard retreats to the west, which gives us a hint that we're on the right track. Okay, so let's encamp, and I'm going to try to fix and rememorize spells, and make sure I've got the game pause this time, the recording pause, and we'll be back in a minute. And we're back, and we actually were able to fix and rememorize spells without having to move, without getting interrupted, so that was pretty nice. Okay, now through this door to the north, ooh, there's an empty room with Remoraz Chow, which means there's a room, another room with Remoraz nearby. Oh yeah, and a Remoraz pantry. Okay. I think we'll skip that room for now. Then through this door is a Mastodon stable. <laughs> but the room we really need to get to is down here. So let's encamp and save because this is kind of an important encounter in the next room. Standing in front of you is the Frost Giant King and his personal guard. He eyes you with blind fury as he speaks, and you record his speech, 
as journal entry 15. Okay, and this is the guy who's supposed to be a little more reasonable than the rest? Okay. So, not content with melting the fay our home, you carry the four directly to us. We've held these crevasses for generations. We will not surrender them to the likes of you. Look to your lives. I'm prepared to die. Are you? What do you do? Uh, let's talk for our lives. You explain that you don't work for the back circle, and he balks at your statements. As he raises his hand to signal the attack, a sentry bursts into the room and shouts, The black circle and the fire giant dogs have followed their these humans in. They've penetrated our defenses. The king looks at you and says, If you and the black circle are enemies, then prove it. Stop them, and they'll help you. What do you do? Um, <laughs> agree to help. You charge down the hall with some of the king's guard behind you. When you get halfway down the hall, you see them. You clash together in battle. Ooh, frost giants versus fire giants. Okay, we need to switch him back to his melee weapon since those fire giants are right on top of us. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the frost giants are going to do to help us. Hopefully something useful. <coughs> okay, let's hope that's far enough away. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm actually recording this in the middle of the afternoon, which normally I would never be able to do, but I had to take a kid home from school today. Not lost in blue, one of her brothers. So I have a bit of unexpected free time this afternoon. The way this battle is set up with us in front and the frost giants behind, it is pretty much impossible for those frost giants to get in melee range. Although they could throw boulders at the fire giants, so maybe that'll help. Okay, let's try that. And hopefully it won't hurt any of our people. And Teresa's got to switch back to her flail and shield. Good job, Pox. Okay, so basically the frost giants and the fire giants are exchanging boulders with each other. And we 
we'll try next magic missile. Eh. I just need to <coughs> aim it at there. And I think that was the last of them. Yes, it was. Ton and a half of treasure. Totally platinum. No use at all taking it. But Pox can heal Hosita, which is good. The Black Circle Mages and Fighters follow up the attack. Yes, this is an, another one of those two-wave battles. Well, look, there is one Frost Giant that's in melee range of one of the Black Circle guys. Okay. Let's see if we can get a stinking cloud going here. Oh, Legion Wizards and Legionnaires. Oh, the Legionnaire choked and gagged at least. Uh, okay. What she could probably do is maybe aim a stinking cloud down there. Okay, so we at least knocked out one Legion Wizard. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Oh, yeah, Pox has a hold person. Okay, so... Fantastic job, Pox. Okay. Okay, that one, and then <coughs> oh, no effect against the Legion Wizard. Oh, good, the Frost Giants are being sensible enough to throw their boulders at the ones that have already been immobilized. Okay, there's just... that was it. That's the only one that hasn't been immobilized. Okay. Well, she hasn't been using her darts for a while, so let's bring those out. I mean, certainly, absolutely no need to waste darts with major pluses on enemies that are already paralyzed. Let's see. Oh, I hate to use up a dart of hornet's nest. <laughs> but it's the only kind of dart he's got.
Let's see if he's, if he's even got the range. No, he does not. Well, uh... Oh, just a magic missile for kicks and giggles, then. Thank you, Mr. Frost Giant. And more treasure. Yeah, 50 gems. Yeah, this might just be the gear that the Black Circle troops have on them. <laughs> yeah. We might have room, but let's concentrate on the bracers and be prepared to give them up if we need to. Just in case the Frost Giant King's feeling grateful. After this is done. Yeah. Shields. Oh yeah, I've got the Blu-ray of the two towers running in the living room and Aowen is singing a dirge in Old English for her cousin. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know. We'll be done soon. Okay, I think that's it. The king thanks you. Boy, does he give us thanks. Look at that. Over 40,000 experience. Okay, gems and jewelry, that, that we can deal with. And... Okay, those are three potions of extra healing. And there's a dagger plus three, plate plus four. You know, actually, I think the actual treasure is more generous on gems and jewelry than... The clue book says it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, and that shield plus four. And a long sword plus four. Cool. Okay, well let's see who could use all that stuff. Okay, he's got banded plus five, which is light plate plus four. And he's got a shield plus three. Okay, she's got plate plus three, and a shield plus three, and a silver longsword plus three. <coughs> so yeah, she could upgrade any of her stuff. Teresa has plate plus three, shield plus three.
Gimli has a scimitar plus four, so maybe he doesn't need... Sorry, what about his shield? His shield is plus three. And... Uh, Yeah, that silver shield that Vala has doubles as a mirror, so we don't want to have her give that up. But she, even she could use the sword or the plate mail. Okay, let's see who's... Why is Elver here only at minus five? Oh, because he's got his bow equipped. Okay, so, okay, we'll have Gimli take the shield right after he drops some of the other junk he's got. Probably that unidentified longsword. Okay, and then uh, no. okay, we're gonna have to have Pox drop a couple things, say those shields. Which I think. Legionnaires, it's probably plus three. Which is the same quality as what she's got. Okay, and then we'll have her switch these out. Yeah. Now I know that stuff is is safe, but whenever you're not sure about something, it's always a good idea to switch out the you know, equip and unequip basically just to make sure it's not cursed. Okay. Well, maybe we can have her pick up the dagger plus four for now. Yeah. Pops might be able to take yeah, she's got a couple of the potions. Okay. Okay, then Teresa can take the last potion. Okay, we're done. He allows you free passage to the village, and we get some bonus experience. Uh, the guards ask you which direction you wish to go. Um, probably toward the dungeon because we need to heal up. Oh. Okay. So basically it's allowing us to skip okay so we're going to go back to the well of knowledge and back to 
town to heal up and ID stuff and drop off stuff at the vault. And when we come back, I think we will be ready to start tackling the eastern crevasses. Um, I mean, there are other, actually there are other encounters we could have inside the Frost Giant Village. I don't know if the Frost Giants will let us have them, but you know, if we can skip those and just move on with the game, I'm okay with that too, because we've got more than enough junk in the vault anyway. So we'll head back to town, take care of some stuff, then head for the eastern crevasses. And we will see you then.